A membership to the Kinder Plans website will allow you access to a full year of lesson plans. Each theme lesson plan is similar to your free friendship theme. If you were to follow the alphabet program, the majority of the kindergarten curriculum would be covered. Even though we follow the kindergarten curriculum, many preschool teachers use the resources and find them very valuable. In this video, I'm going to concentrate on the use of the emergent readers. In each theme unit lesson plan, you'll find two to six emergent readers. I wanted to demonstrate how these are used as a valuable learning tool. This emergent reader is a retelling of the kissing hand. It is found in your free friendship theme. It would be used after reading the book, The Kissing Hand. However, if that book is not available, I would still introduce the Emergent Reader as it can be used as a very valuable teaching tool to teach beginning reading skills. You'll notice there are two different versions of the book. There's the full page version and the half page version. The full page version would be used on those days you're in a hurry. When presenting the reader to the children, the words would be enlarged. They would be placed beside the picture on a pocket chart or just on a regular chart paper. The enlarged pictures could be used to make a big book. Also, they are great to use on the smart board. On the first day of introducing the book, you will just read the book to the children, modeling the reading process. This is done by discussing each of the pictures, then reading the words to the children and pointing to the words. Chester's mom kissed his hand. It made his hands feel warm. It made his arms feel warm. It made his cheeks feel warm. It made his ears feel warm. It made his toes feel warm. And you continue reading the book and discussing it. And then on day two, I'm going to demonstrate how you can further develop skills using the reader. On day two of using the Emergent Reader, you may want to introduce the concept of sentences. Explain that sentences are made up of words, and these words tell about the picture. You can count the number of words in sentences. After, you can give the children the words and they can unscramble them to make the sentence. And after the children have had done this together as a class, this can be placed in the Literacy Center. Since this reader does not introduce a specific alphabet letter, this would be a great time to work on phonemic awareness. This is the ability for children to distinguish sounds. Explain that words have individual sounds. Choose a word from the reader, such as hand, and have the children hear the sounds found in the word. Say the word slowly by stretching the sounds. Ha, ha, nd. Ask them what word from the reader you just said. Have them stretch the sounds. Have them stretch the sounds and clap up the letters. Ha, ha, nd. Some teachers like using an elastic band with the word on it and have them see how the sounds are stretched. Ha, ha, nd. After the children understand that words have individual sounds, explain that you're going to only focus on the beginning sound today. The pictures found in the members area and alphabet pictures are great to use for these types of activities. Show the picture of the hand, the horse, and the kangaroo. Say the first word hand and say the second word horse. Do they hear the same sound found in this, these pictures? Do the same with the word hand and kangaroo. Continue working on this through the rest of the week. I hope you found these ideas helpful. This is Elaine from kinderplans.com.